Uh, good morning, it's Jeff and Wilbur here at Budroom, and this morning this video is uh, a beekeeping video uh, entitled Swarms in Winter. So about two and a half weeks ago we got our first phone call uh, with a swarm in somebody's backyard and that was about five and a half weeks before the end of winter, before the, fish, the official end of winter. So it's about the 6th of August now and our, our winter finishes at the end of August. So what happened is the, uh, all the rain we had early this year and last year uh, set all the gum trees up to really blossom heavily and in the 24 years I've been keeping bees I've never seen the trees so heavily in blossom and uh, normally at the start of, you know, during August I'll start uh, separating my hives to stop them from swarming uh, and by the end of say September, October I've got all my hives set up uh, pretty well full, full up but, but it's going to be all, but they're going to be all full up by the end of this month, by the end of August. Okay so uh, I forgot to mention that we've got six boxes of honey here and another four over there that's, uh, that came out of the hives with A and B. So I'm going to take the honey out of those frames that had AFB and then clean the frames out and scorch them and start afresh, same with the boxes. And, and uh, but even though we've got all this honey and we've got more honey to come, the main priority now is to uh, get into the brood and stop the bees from swarming. So that's my main priority. Anyway, we'll see you when we get down to the gum trees. Uh, okay, bye. Right, uh, so we're here at one of these gum trees and we William's got the camera on one of these rainbow lorikeets and these are one of the native species of birds that uh, really uh, loves it when these trees are in blossom. It was just a, just a coincidence that we found him here. So Wilma might just move the camera across to where some of the flowers are. Okay. So these trees are heavily in blossom. And uh, this is just one of the many trees in the area. And... Uh, and they'll probably continue to be in blossom for the next couple of months. Uh, that explains why I'm taking steps to prevent my, my bees from swarming. So on the ground here, you can bring the camera down to the ground and you can see uh, what, I'm not sure whether it's flying foxes or the rainbow lorikeets, but you see all these branches and bits of uh, flower on the ground. Uh, well, these, some of the flowers here, the, the flowers there. Yeah, see that. Tiny in on them. Okay. Right, oh, I just want Wilma to uh, focus the camera on the on the entrances and just see how much activity there is here. Uh, bearing in mind, we've still got three more weeks to go of winter, and uh, I've been I've checked every hive. I found uh, some hives with AFB. Uh, this first one has AFB, so I've cleaned it all out and. Um, Okay, so I've got three, three more to check for, uh, for swarm control and AFB. So the one over here, this one on my left, it's real cranky. So I'm going to show you, make another upload and show you how to deal with a cranky hive. Um, uh, we'll just put a bit of smoke in this one. Have a look there, Wilma. The lids, yeah. chocker block. So I'm going to do some swarm control in this one. Uh, I uh, got caught the other day. I tried to lift the top box off, and it was too heavy. So I'm going to take uh, the three middle frames out. So in doing that, I'll see how much honey's in them. Show the honey in the frame. Look at that one. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, just not quite ready to take. But uh, it's a little bit easier to pick up. Even though they're full of honey, it's not right. What they call right. I can manage six frames alright, but I just find nine full frames a little bit much. Okay, this is the first frame I pulled out. It's just chock-a-block full of sealed brood. Um, to a beekeeper, or to me, that is just a beautiful sight. But it just shows me how hard they're working. There's a queen cell there, 
I'm just going to see if there's any egg in there. Uh, I don't think. What I'm going to do is take four frames with the bees out of this and uh, make sure the queen isn't on them and uh, make a new hive. I'm just make sure there's no, no eggs in those queen cells. So, uh, at the same time, looking for the queen. But this is the third one. Uh, just about nearly chock a block full of sealed brood, sealed worker brood. Uh, the second one was much the same, had a, had a little bit more uh, uh, immature brood, but it still had a lot of sealed brood. So, so what I've done here, I've taken out four frames of brood with the, with the bees. I'm going to make sure the queen isn't on there. And uh, there's a fifth frame here. On the end, it was just chock-a-block. It weighs about three or four kilos. It's just chock-a-block full of honey. And there's probably a fair bit of pollen in there as well. So I'll take it home and extract the honey out of it. And uh, anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm going to put five frames of foundation in there. So you're starting on the end with the first one. And uh, every second frame, you're putting a frame of foundation. And then, uh, then they'll just go like that. It'll give them some work to do. And the brood that I'm taking is the uh, predominantly the uh, next brood to hatch out. A lot of the seal brood, so that's getting taken away. Uh, so that'll sort of ease the pressure on their population a bit. So essentially what you're doing is setting them back a couple of months. Hopefully. This is that one's quite heavy as well. It might have honey in that one. But oh, we do eat that one's heavy. Oh, it is heavy. It's full of honey. Oh, it's it's full of honey. So you might even might even see the queen on this one. You never know. Oh yeah, she's full of honey. All right, so just in summary, uh, I'm just uh, finishing off this video now and I uh, don't know how we're going for time, but uh, what I ended up doing was, I'm just making sure I haven't, I'm not taking the queen here. There's no queen on there. I'm putting these in another box. And uh, I ended up only leaving three, uh, three frames of brood. So I've got uh, foundation brood, foundation brood, foundation brood, foundation, foundation, foundation. So if you've got three foundation together, always put them on, this, on the side. You don't want to have a frame of brood, then three frames of foundation, then a frame of brood. So that's the way I, I learned uh, from experience. That's probably the best way to do it. And then I'm just going to put the queen excluder back on and the top box back on and uh, they should be right for, for a while anyway. Okay, so there's the queen. This is the other box that we, we checked, the second one. Uh, there's no AFB in either box. Now this one's pretty well the same as the last one. Chock a block full of bees, a lot of sealed brood. But the, we got the queen this time, so we're able to identify, to see the queen. So what's a bee video without a queen? So uh, now we can edit our videos, we can take some other stuff out and show the queen. Look at it, isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. Uh, all right, so uh, we'll close it. The same thing happened here. I, I replaced, uh, I've only got three frames of brood back in, and I've put six frames of foundation, the same as the other one. And uh, I've got to uh, just put this queen, this one's chock a block full of brood, so I'll put her in back in and we'll close okay we'll catch you later all the best we'll catch you on the next video